today we're going to be tying what I would consider to be my personal go-to lake fishing bug. Um, it's a, bower, a borrowed pattern, uh, originally coined to me as the Cooper's bug, and I've made some additions to it uh, over the years just to kind of help maximize the effectiveness. Um, starting out with a number 8 200R. I typically have them in 10s, 8s, and 6s. Uh, 10s and 8s seem to be the ones that I fish the most often. Uh, I've got some 6 aught black uni thread. I'm going to start the thread right behind the eye of the hook, make a good thread base down the entire shank of the hook to about right above the barb. Then I'm going to take the thread actually back towards the eye. I'm going to give myself approximately the tip of the scissors width behind the eye and I'm going to tie in some 025 lead wire. What, I, what I'm trying to do here is, is I'm not trying to make the thing sink like a rock. Uh, all I want is enough lead on here, approximately six wraps, uh, to sink the fly so we don't have it sitting out there like a powder puff on top of the water. six wraps just enough to get that head this will also give it just a bit of jigging action uh, you know I've had questions in the past well why don't you use a bead well I don't like the bead because I usually find that it makes the fly sink too fast what I like about this this pattern is, is that I can cast it out I can let the fly sit out there for an extended period of time and slowly retrieve it back in that way maximizing uh, bites so I've taken my thread back to the back above the barb I've got a piece of Grizzly Marabou. Uh, this is going to give you some segmentation in the tail, uh, make a little bit more realistic bug. So what I typically do is I'll take the feather with my right hand, I'll measure the tail to be approximately the same size as the hook shank. Once I've got that measurement down, I do a little hand switch, use my scissors to snip off the excess feather, and I'll make a half dozen or so wraps on there, just enough to lock it down. So. At this point in time, I'm going to take a, a piece of non-tarnishing French tinsel made by Lagerton. Uh, it's kind of olive green colored. I'm going to tie that in as both a rib and also uh, almost used in the capacity of tying thread. Uh, and I'll, show, I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So I've got the tail tied in. I've got the rib tied in. I've got a piece of variegated medium brown and olive chenille. Uh, as with most chenille, I'm just going to take my fingers, expose that core just a little bit to give a nice little non-bulky tie-in point. And then I'm going to advance my thread forward towards the eye. Now I'm going to take that uh, chenille, I'm going to wrap that forward. And again, this is variegated too, so you've got an illusion of movement uh, due to the coloration. I think that's sometimes just sitting still and still looking like it's moving is a big deal to fish, especially in lakes when they've got tons of time to look at it. I'll snip off my excess there, make a couple wraps so that we don't come unraveled. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got a dyed grizzly olive saddle hackle. A uh, big beautiful neck. These come in a bunch of different colors. For lake fishing, obviously, you know, uh, olives, browns, blacks, all very good. I'm going to go down into the wider, webbier part of this feather, snip off the excess, expose, expose a little handle to tie in on the feather. We're going to tie that in right behind the eye. Got that tied in. <clears throat> now I'm going to hackle backwards uh, towards the tail, um, and we're going to actually use the laggerton to tie down the feather. So I like to make a full 360 collar in the front, and then I'll just step that back. And I want to do about three, about four to six wraps on the hackle back towards the tail. And I'm just going to go right over the top of that feather with the rib. Thread that through those hackles. You can kind of move your hand a little bit to help dodge the, uh, the plumes. We can lock that down with a couple wraps of thread in the front, and a couple wraps of thread in the back. Snip off the excess, both the rib and the hackle feather. Now, just to tighten it up a bit, 
I'm going to make a small black head. Could be brown. You could probably use olive too. Um, I don't, I've always used black thread on these flies, and uh, you know, it's not, it's a little bit off a, off a color scheme, but definitely seems to be very effective. Uh, at this point, I'm going to take my whip finisher and whip finish the head. And there you have a complete uh, modified Cooper's bug, a uh, very effective lake fly all throughout the West Coast.